The Kingdom of Finland was a short-lived monarchy that existed from 1918 to 1919. This period in Finnish history was marked by rapid political changes and upheaval. As Finland sought to establish its independence from Russia and determine its form of government, in this essay, we will explore the history of the Kingdom of Finland, its establishment, key figures, and eventual demise. Background. Finland had been part of the Russian Empire for over a century, before gaining its independence in 1917. The Russian Revolution of 1917 and the subsequent fall of the Russian monarchy provided an opportunity for Finland to break free from Russian rule and establish its own government. On December 6, 1917, Finland declared independence, forming the Republic of Finland. However, the question of Finland's form of government remained unresolved. While some advocated for a republican system, others, particularly the Finnish Senate and the conservative factions, favored a monarchy. This led to the establishment of the Kingdom of Finland in 1918, with a German prince, Friedrich Karl of Hesse, being chosen as the monarch. Establishment of the Kingdom the decision to establish a monarchy in Finland was influenced by a variety of factors, including the desire for stability, the fear of socialist and Bolshevik influences, and the notion of restoring traditional institutions. In March 1918, the Finnish parliament at Eskunta voted to offer the Finnish crown to a German prince, Friedrich Karl of Hesse, who accepted the offer and arrived in Finland in October 1918. Friedrich Karl was crowned as King of Finland on October 9, 1918, in the Senate Square in Helsinki. He took the name King Vainai after an ancient Finnish hero. The establishment of the monarchy was met with mixed reactions from the Finnish population, with some seeing it as a symbol of national unity and others viewing it as a foreign imposition. Key Figures King Vainai of Finland was the central figure of the Kingdom of Finland. Born Prince Friedrich Karl of Hesse, he had a background as a German nobleman and military officer. His tenure as king was brief, lasting less than a year, but he played a significant role in the establishment and functioning of the monarchy. The government of the Kingdom of Finland was led by Prime Minister Per Evan Sven Hufford, a prominent Finnish statesman and politician. Sven Hufford had previously served as the region of Finland during the country's transition from Russian rule to independence. He played a key role in promoting the monarchy and maintaining order during a period of political turbulence, the Finnish Civil War. The establishment of the Kingdom of Finland was not without controversy and opposition. The country was deeply divided along ideological and political lines, with tensions between the Red Socialists and the White Conservatives leading to a civil war. In 1918, the Finnish Civil War, fought between the Red Guards and the White Guards, resulted in the deaths of thousands of people and led to widespread destruction and suffering. The White Guards, supported by the Senate and the newly established monarchy, emerged victorious in the conflict, paving the way for the consolidation of power under the Kingdom of Finland. However, the scars of the Civil War ran deep and the legacy of the conflict continued to shape Finnish society and politics in the years to come. The brutal repression of the Red Guards and the socialist movement left a lasting impact on the country's political landscape, contributing to ongoing social tensions and divisions. Demise of the Kingdom The Kingdom of Finland was short-lived and faced numerous challenges during its brief existence. The country was in a state of turmoil and instability. Grappling with the aftermath of the civil war, economic hardships, and political divisions, the monarchy lacked popular support and struggled to assert its authority over the diverse and fragmented Finnish society. In February 1919, King Vainai abdicated the throne and left Finland, acknowledging the impossibility of maintaining the monarchy in the face of mounting opposition and Resistance. The Senate took over the reins of government and established the Finnish Republic, marking the end of the Kingdom of Finland, the legacy of the Kingdom of Finland. The Kingdom of Finland represented a brief and tumultuous chapter in Finnish history, characterized by political uncertainty, social upheaval, and external influences. 
The monarchy's failure to gain widespread acceptance and legitimacy among the Finnish population highlighted the challenges of imposing a foreign institution on a society in transition. The experience of the Kingdom of Finland left a deep imprint on Finnish collective memory and identity. The civil war and the establishment of the monarchy underscored the complex nature of Finland's path to independence and nationhood, shaped by internal divisions external pressures, and conflicting visions of the country's future. In the aftermath of the Kingdom of Finland, the Finnish Republic embarked on a new phase of nation-building and democratic consolidation. The uh, country's political system was reorganized, institutions were strengthened, and efforts were made to foster national unity and reconciliation in the wake of the Civil War. Today, the Kingdom of Finland remains a historical curiosity and a reminder of the challenges and complexities of Finland's journey to independence. The brief reign of King Vainai and the experiment with monarchy in Finland serve as a cautionary tale about the fragility of political institutions, the importance of national consensus, and the enduring legacy of past conflicts on the present day society. In conclusion, the Kingdom of Finland was a short-lived monarchy that existed during a turbulent period in Finnish history. Despite its brief duration and ultimate demise, the Kingdom of Finland played a significant role in shaping the country's political development and national identity. The legacy of the monarchy continues to resonate in Finnish society, serving as a reminder of the challenges and complexities of nation-building and state formation.